this video is about the municipality of Ronda, Cebu. This is located in the south of Cebu. It's only a small municipality. It's a fifth class municipality with 15, 14 barangays. Because um, I thought it was 15, that's why I want to make sure. Because this is one I, I'm not really quite sure because it's really small. But I know the municipality treasurer here. We might visit her. I don't know yet. But this video is about that. So this is next to Dumanhog. This is established as a municipality in 1913. We will go in and we will show you the Ronda municipality. It's so peaceful here. You can sit here all day with your umbrella and sleep and mesmerize with the view. You can go here free. This is open to the public. So this is the slogan of Ronda. Ronda love you. And this is the place where they have their municipal hall, the land transportation office, and of course the most prominent one, the church which you can hear right now is having a mass. So we are entering the municipality of Ronda. As I said, they have 14 barangay municipality, so you know it's quite small, and this is only a fifth class municipality. So, welcome to Ronda. Ronda is actually a coastal municipality. They have a nice bay walk, I could remember. So, here on this right side, that's a dragon fruit plantation. Sorry, I don't like dragon fruit. I'm not really keen into dragon fruit. Delicious Resto Cafe. So it's a cafe. Yeah, the, they make tinta juice. What, the dragon fruit? Yeah, there's someone there. dragon fruit they're not really fantastic you know you are a dragon but not a fruit no fruit yeah there's the municipality of Ronda vehicle It's like it's a uh, just a sleepy old municipality, you know, it's old the province. Of yeah, sleepy municipality. But even though they are, it's a sleepy municipality, you got neighbors that blast their music. There's not a lot of happenings around, you can see. It's farmlands. So they've been asphalting the roads. This is new. Because it's become rough here to drive on before. better but they have a nice bay walk here let's stop on their um, center poblacion and they got some nice houses around this area look nice house there nice house left and right so the next McDonald's you will find is in Mualboal which is still far away from here you still have to go through Alcantara Nine kilometers from here. Yeah. Excuse me. Seventh day Adventist Church. Mm, they 
they're still doing the road up here. They're putting the asphalt on top of the cemented road. Which is better than just the dirt. common in provinces here in the Philippines that when the children has already made a lot I mean succeed a lot of money you know succeed in their career after being sent to the city to further their education or whatever they have done to further their endeavors in life they will always come back to their municipal town and build themselves big houses as uh, like to show the neighbors that one in their family has already succeeded or the children in this family have succeeded so don't be surprised even the far away provinces there's still nice big houses in there barangay kanduling Barangay Kanduling seems to be a jolly old barangay. There's some saloons, there's some like melty center. Not as dead as the one that we just passed. advertising all the Ronda things that you can see the dudes what that's um, hardware there is that what is this Girl Scout Park Ronda. This is now the center. Yeah, that is the Baywalk. The Baywalk. I think it's not. You can see the Baywalk from here. Wait, huh? I could remember. This way to Municipal Hall. So we can park here. Like that car is doing. can walk around look gosh we want to be over here right? yep so this is the slogan of Rhonda Rhonda love you and this is the place where they have their municipal hall the land transportation office and of course the most prominent one the church which you can hear right now is having a mass now another good thing here in Ronda is to see their boulevard of love over there so you walk around that's the highway that you 
take to go further south which is next one is Alcantara it's Sunday today but it's very that's the municipal hall but we will pass through there going back so we'll continue on they have this walk way that's full of mahogany trees the Indian look she's like there alone and they even have a pension house actually that one that red and yellow building there is a money pension house na better siya nga ko an umbrella kay dako ka shade mm -hmm. so the center of ronda the seat of governance and i think this is where people usually congregate around here and this is their boulevard oh that boulevard <laughs> Multi-purpose building there. That's a building where this a multi-purpose. <laughs> yes. Labor law is a set of labor law. Yeah. All you can see here are the young people. Sleepy old town of Ronda. Go further. No. <laughs> That's beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. I think you will all agree. And I believe that is their new gymnasium. I believe that the children is a future. <laughs> That's their new gymnasium because, you know, my friend who is the treasurer here, municipal treasurer, that they have a lot of projects going on that she has to release it. All the budget. Beautification here on the boulevard making of the gymnasium which was one thing that she mentioned to me and uh multi-purpose building There's some restaurants over there. Restaurants? Okay. Yeah. Monique was one, so the So there's like an, another a uh, loves of bikers and they are drinking there. I didn't bring my bag. But we will just look around. <laughs> it seems like there's a restaurant up ahead it's the caption bar cup 
Clifton Bar. Clifton Bay. All right. Okay. I I stand corrected. Captain Bay. <laughs> Sunset Boulevard. It's just that you were not able to see it because your eyes is from the Yeah, on the left side. Oh, they're having a swim here. Like I said, the sea is very beautiful right now. Shall we go back? Look at that low that man there. They're swimming on the boulevard. It's going to be dangerous there, so we have to step down. The sea is so calm, so it's not ruffling up all those crevices that makes it more blurred. So you can see that the youngsters here are relaxed. <laughs> there is nothing much to do. So a good signal will be very useful for them to do their social medias. Have they got so a nice... So this is the long stretch of Boulevard or you can see the fishermen and the nice green blue sea. So you can see a few people here swimming on the sea. Look at their waters, blue green. A long stretch of boulevard, really beautiful. Open to the public. But you can see there, there's a man doing net fishing.
Wow. God, look at the peaceful view. God, and you got here the toilets clean as you go, so it's open to the public. So you can see the locals here are having a swim. Laum dong? Laum? I was asking if it's deep. And they all ag both concede, agreed it's deep. Dili matugka ni muga. I was asking if we can reach the bottom. And she said no. But this is the view that you get here in their boulevard. Now you can imagine how the people will do coming here at night. Because this is the province mine. They are not very strict like we are in the city. Lapu-Lapu City, Talisay City. They can stay here. There's no curfew. The governor is very good. In fact, when I go to the provinces, we're the one who's embarrassed because we're the one who's wearing all the gear face shield face mask and you notice around here that they don't so Rhonda Baywalk Boulevard beautiful It's so peaceful here. You can sit here all day with your umbrella and sleep and mesmerize with the view. You can go here free. This is open to the public. So they have pension houses that you can stay if you want to visit Ronda. There's a few that I see on the road and a few uh, selective beach resorts because a lot of them are open to the public public beach but the big the good swimmers would rather swim on the boulevard I know because it's deeper so now let's go back and see all around the seat of governance and whatever we can find here in Rhonda so this is the seat of governance for Rhonda this is their multi-purpose building and beside it is the Rhonda municipal hall The municipal mayor right now is Terence Blanco. 
So these are the heritage and site of Ronda. You have the Our Lady of Sorrows Parish Church, Our Lady of Fatima Shrine, the Ronda Wharf Hair and Poblacion that we just done, Natural Pool in Planas, Villa Milagrosa Shrine, Pusud Sawa Hill, Lusno Falls in Langin, Ronda Cebu. Then you have the Liog Liog Rock and Ronda Marine Sanctuary and Libo'o Hill. So those are the things that you can watch but I'm more um, interested about the Lusno Falls if it's not very far from here. We can just ride a tricycle. Oh yeah, let's go. And that's the Church of Ronda. This is the Municipal Hall. That's the Ronda Police Station. And that's the shrine of the one the shrine there, Our Lady of Sorrows. So you can find them here in the Poblacion. That's the PWD Rehabilitation Center. That's the LTO. That's the shrine of Our Lady of Sorrows. Sorrow. Let's have a look. And you can pray there, son. So that's the church of Rhonda. Then obviously their patron saint is Our Lady of Sorrows. This is the Shrine of Our Lady of Sorrows here in Ronda, Cebu. And it's located across the Ronda Church. Go inside the Ronda Church. So this is Our Lady of Sorrows Parish. They even have the list of the peoples of the parish church as a sign here. So this is the interior of the Church of Our Lady of Sorrows located here in Poblacion near the Municipal Hall of Ronda, Cebu.
so in continuance to our trip around Ronda you can see in the left side there there's Villa Gonzalo Inn so like I said they have some small travelers in or pension houses here in Ronda that's the Ronda public market over there it's not very big but it's a sprawling thing because it still extends up to here because it's only a small building look two small buildings of public market and then all around there are just shops and little stalls now continuing on this is still part of Ronda Poblacion The next municipality that we're going to be visiting is Alcantara. Alcantara may be the smallest municipality as far as I know because they have only nine barangays. This um, Ronda is, had 13 barangays but this one, the next one, got nine barangays. So it's only a tiny municipality. There's another pension house here on the side. There's another one there on the right side. So they have some small pension houses that may, for travelers that want to experience the municipalities, hospitality and ambience, or like those foreigners, or Filipinos who have a chatmates that live around here there are places that you can stay not on the house of your chatmates not in the house of your girlfriend whatever so it's good to know because some people don't like to impose themselves on the family and live with them so it's good to know that you can actually rent some pension houses here so you can see the signs of McDonald's pointing you up to Moal Bual, which is the next big town around here because of its famous diving resorts. So we are now in Palanas, Barangay Palanas. So there's a cemetery on the side. I thought it's houses, it's actually mostly hills. And also on this side. I thought it's really houses some are really big like houses look hmm. Lumbao Atungao oh, wow. Atungao oh, that's the vice mayor here that's unfortunately been shot house there another one so this is the end of our trip around Ronda